Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Commandments of Patience, aka Ryan Trunky, back at again with a new video. So today I'm gonna gonna be bringing you some sauce. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you some high quality sauce. So basically you know what the series this, yeah? No? So basically it's Hero for 2 Part 6. So let's get started. So basically last time like, I think we stopped like when he kissed both like Momo and Jiro and gave them their nicknames Jiro was like his songbird and Momo like was princess and three fell asleep peacefully So now in another part of the dorms Ochako was crying into her pillow so nobody could hear her she deeply regretted having her like first time with Katsuki Ochako was like saw the condom wrap or like wrapper of the brand Katsuki used and when she was about to throw it it like uh, throw it away she saw that the wrapper was punctured she frantically looked for the used condom in her trash once she found it she saw that it had been slowly leaking Ochako knew it it wasn't a safe day and she didn't have money for morning after pills and she wasn't uh, like on birth control not only was her purity taken by a guy she didn't love but she might have gotten pregnant and so now it was sunday morning izuku slowly began to wake up as he did his eyes adjusted to the light only to realize he wasn't in his room. Izuku remembered what it happened that night before he then felt something like in his chest. He looked down and saw Momo and Jiro cuddling in his chest. Izuku remembered what happened. As he looked at both Jiro and Momo, he felt like the luckiest man alive since he has two beautiful girlfriends. Izuku then felt the two girls move. He looked left and saw Momo beautiful eyes. And then Izuku said, Morning, princess, Momo said, Morning, Zuzu. After their like, greeting, Izuku gave her a kiss and it was just a quick peek on the lips. Momo's eye went wide as she pulled him for another kiss. Izuku turned the right and saw Jiro waking up. And Izuku said, Morning, songbird. Then Jiro said, Morning, Izu. Just like he did with Momo, he planned a peek on her lips. Just like Momo, Jiro kissed him back and the two girls were wide awake. Izuku was still sleepy when all of a sudden there was a frantic like knock on Momo's door. As Momo and Jiro got up, the like left uh, uh, Izuku to sleep a bit more as the two got dressed, they opened the door. Upon opening the door, Esui, Mina and Ochako and Toro were at the door. Then Mina said, Yo Momo, we got problem. Jiro said then, like Jiro said, what's the problem? Mina said, perfect, we're all together, but before we talk business, Mina ran into Momo's room and threw like, herself on top of Momo's bed as if she was going to elbow drop on someone, but before Momo and Jiro could stop her, it was too late. Izuku felt great pain in his like abdominal area which led him to wake up Simi shouting. Then Izuku said, Ah, oh, jeez, what the hell? Can't, can't a guy sleep a bit longer? Then Mina said, like screamed, Midori? What are you in like Momo's room? Then Momo quickly brought the girls in and closed the door, prevent any Mina's screams to be heard around the dorms. Then Momo said, Can two girls have their boyfriend spend the night? Then Mina said, wait, Jiro and you, Momo, are sharing Izuku? Then Jiro said, yeah, is, the, is that a problem? No. What did you want to talk about? Then Ochako said, I don't have any money for morning after pills or pregnancy test, so I thought your Izuku could make us a test. Then Izuku said, uh, let me guess, the condom was punctured and you didn't notice until late last night. Then Ochako said, how did you know? Then oh, Izuku sounded like... Then like Izuku said, sounded like a move he would pull so he could say he's having a kid first scene as it wasn't miserable after he took your first time, he left you and potential baby. 
does that cover everything Uchako could only load as everything that he stated was only 100% true Momo uh, like Momo made a test and gave it to Uchako as she looked like at it then waited Izuku got a scrap of paper in Momo's room and wrote down cell phone number when Uchako came out of the test was negative but Momo made her multiple tests just in case Momo handed Ochako the slips of paper then Ochako said what is this and then Izuku said in case you are pregnant call aunt Mitsuke and tell her what Kasuke uh, like did she'll help you then Ochako said why will she help me then Izuku said because that's Bako Ho's mother well I'm off ladies Izuku was about to leave but turned to Kizuru and gave her a passionate kiss then turned to Momo and also gave her a passionate kiss so time skip until monday as it was a regular monday everyone was excited to hear about the upcoming news the class sat down and waited for aizawa to appear when he did notice all were quiet then is how aizawa said good job on shutting up now for the special announcement beginning today we will start the meeting of the culture festival so can i have the class priest and vice priest step up aizawa had gone to sleep in his sleeping bag while lida and momo stepped up in front of the class then lida said well fellow classmates any suggestion what we will do many had their hands up in their air and as Lida pointed to his classmates, some ideas were written down, such as cafe, boys, cafe, and play, and etc. When all ideas seemed to be decent enough, when Jiro thought of an amazing idea, she raised her hand. Then Lida said, Yes, Jiro san. Jiro said, How about Momo and I ask the recalcitrant like, heroes to come and play here for the festival? A uproar almost broke out when she had suggested that they contacted. Uh, like uh, they have a contract a famous band and play a little school culture festival Jiro turned to Uzuku then Jiro said Midoriya can you ask the band if they like if can they like play if it's possible of course then Katsuki said how the hell does that shitty nerd have connection with the band then Izuku well said well on Saturday I worked like lightning for them so they told me they do me a favor. Many were in shock if he could pull this off. He was gonna be the hero for the festival. So, time skip. Izuku was now at work with the server. The two here having an easy day, like considering it was Midoriya. Well, not Midoriya, sorry guys, I'm really... I have a headache right now. So, it was a Monday, when it should be the toughest day. Izuku then said, hey Silver, can I ask you a question? Then Silver said, yeah, sure, what's up? Then Izuku said, do you think it's possible that we play for the school culture festival next week? Then Silver said, sure, that's fine. Then Izuku said, wait, really? Are you sure? Then Silver said, yeah, it's, it's for good cause, you and everyone at UA I need a chance to like cat uh, back and let loose so what do we have to lose just like the really content heroes had a new gig for a great cause so, so this gonna be taking like time when Izuka and Mirio saved Eri when they like encountered her overhaul was taken down like do like due to the like excessive amount of pros around the area so yeah it was preparation week for UA like culture festival while many were preparing their souls and the other activities A were like class 1A were waiting for the response from the real like really content heroes while on the other end Ochako would wait a bit longer to take another uh, like pregnancy test hoping the same result will be negative. It was Tuesday and festival would be held Friday and Saturday as many walked into the class waiting for the new news like they like their anxiety looked at izuku so izuku said i've got a confirmation that the real content hero will be playing for the culture festival the class erupted in cheer and bakugo was shocked to know that deku had 
that kind of connection with well-known band. Class flew by quickly as was now time for lunch. Uh, the like excitement of 1A was noticeable than class 1B. Class asshole had come along. Then Monoma said, "What are your losers from 1A doing? I bet it can't be better than the play like play we're doing." Mina then said, "Our classmate Midoriya Izuku got really content hero to play here for the culture." Festival. Then Monoma said, as if any of you idiots could get that popular band to play at UA. If it's true, I'll mop the floor with my tongue. In that moment, many people who had followed their Real Content Hero social media received a notification post. Real Content Heroes to perform at UA Culture Festival. Many students who were fans couldn't believe this. They thought it was a prank done by someone until they saw a account name and almost went wild. Monoma himself still couldn't believe this news. It seemed to be like someone was pulling his legs until another post was made and it was a video with like Ryusuke and Ryan who had announced that this was no prank. So guys, I'm gonna leave it like right here. My voice is killing me right now. So.